Good morning and thank you for joining me today. Today I have a nice big canvas in store. You can see here I've been doing some test pieces on some smaller canvases and going with a very minimalist sort of color scheme and uh, composition. So I've been testing out different background colors and different consistencies in my paint. And I think I've, I've got something that I, I really wanna do now. So I'm going to get these out of the way and, uh, and show you a little bit more of what I've got in store. Okay, so today I'm working on a 36 by 48 inch uh, canvas. This is a, a three quarter inch profile, so it's not a big thick galaxy wrapped canvas. And I've had these canvases for a while. I bought them when they were on sale before I started doing a lot of big canvases and heavier pours and things like that. And these canvases aren't the best for doing things that have a lot of heavy paint on the canvas. They tend to warp easily and things like that. But I figured for this, because I'm not gonna be having so much paint on the canvas, and I'm probably not gonna be tilting uh, side to side and things like that as much, that this is probably going to be the perfect application. So I've got my canvas ready, and I'm going to bring you down and show you my paints. And then I'm going to off canvas, or sorry, <laughs> Off screen, I'm going to paint the edges of my canvas with just some plain Artist Loft. I'm going to do uh, just kind of about two inches maybe, and then I'm going to put my base coat down. And uh, I'll see you back after that. Here are our paints, and uh, very simple palette today. These are drips that I've saved from other black and gray pores. And I added a little bit of black to make it a little bit richer. If you wanted to do this at home, I would suggest using just a plain black and adding a little bit of silver to it to give it a little shimmer or maybe graphite, something like that. And then for the ring pour I'm going to be doing, I have Artist Loft White mixed with Rust-Oleum Seashell because I didn't want a really bright, bright white. So it's just a little off white, which I like. And then I have Golden's Payne's Gray, and I mixed in just a little bit of Prussian blue also to give it a little more of a blue hue instead of being quite so dark. And then I have Artist Loft Iridescent Silver, and I do have my silver mixed a little bit dark, or a little bit thicker, sorry so that it uh, doesn't disperse so much and get muddy with the other colors. And then this is just Artist Loft Black. So you can see they're not real thick. It leaves a little bit of a mound, but melts in very, very quickly. All of these have been mixed with mixed pour, and then I just thinned them down a little bit. And then here I have a couple of cups. This is my base coat. I just poured it into cups that were uh, a little more manageable for me to get them on the canvas. Okay, I have my base coat down and I've torched and I'm ready to pour. So I'm just using cups that I've saved and let dry out. I, I really like using these for doing pour, straight pours and things like that so that I can get some more life out of my cups and not be so wasteful. I almost forgot, I have one more color here. This is some interference gold that I accidentally poured some white into. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any of the cool interference reactions that you get from this, but We'll see. I'm just going to add a couple of little layers in at that. Okay, so I have my cup. Hope you can see this. I'm going to start with white. And then the Payne's Gray mix. And then I'm going to do some of the interference. 
got my black. Got my silver. A little more Payne's gray. More of the white. black and then I think I'm going to end with the silver hoping this isn't too much paint okay so I'm going to start a little bit off center I don't want this right in the middle so I'm going to do a uh, wandering straight port but it's just going to be straight down okay got a little muddy. I might not put that in a lower level next time. just mix these paints up so they're a little uh have quite a few bubbles in them okay here we go to get back down to the other end, but I do want to get that edge off of the canvas. There's plenty of paint here to do that. I just have to be patient. And boy, is my arm getting tired. I'm trying to decide is do I keep it very simple with just this one pour or do I add another element? Let's see if I can do this left handed. I'm going to put this one just down this way.
because you have to go back and forth a little bit to get it exactly how you want it. to clean up the edges and then I will bring you in for a wet walkthrough. Here is the wet walkthrough. I am incredibly happy with this, with how this turned out. I'm trying to do this with natural sunlight but I still might get some glare from the lights behind me. In here. Really beautiful things going on here, and I expect that some of this might still continue to develop as it sits here for another 20 minutes or so. Yeah, there's some glare. Sorry about that. I'm in my attic and always have the optimal lighting. I really love this end down here. Okay, there we go. I'm very, very happy with this and I will show you the dry walkthrough. <laughs> 